Hey, brave hearts. So uh, take a look. I am at the San Juan, Puerto Rican airport. But what I want to show you is, is this, okay? This is what I want to show you. There are, all right, there are 21 wheelchairs, 21 wheelchairs. It goes all the way up to the front. Oh, make that 22 wheelchairs, okay? So now there are 22 wheelchairs on this flight. Now, I am not mocking, so you understand that. This is just, this is totally against humanity. Understand something, from a cane to a walker, to a wheelchair, all right? And you know what? The only virus that I see going on is called victimitis. And let me tell you something right now. These people le believe that they have no choice. Oh, wait a second here. Um, how about 23? All right, you think I'm kidding? You know, this is this is absolutely no joke. Okay, now that's 23 wheelchairs coming on our flight to uh, um, Houston. And then from Houston, I'm going to Dallas. Um, so here's the deal. I want you to think about this. Uh, are you of the age of 50, 60, or 70? So anyways, I'm 67 years old. And the reality is, is that uh, even 20 years ago, you might see one person in a wheelchair. I mean it, don't, don't believe me. Why don't you go back to 1970, 1980 and take a look at any beach. You won't find anybody that is overweight. Do you hear what I'm saying? Right now you go to a beach and uh, uh, guess what? Obesity is the main killer for um, the world right now, especially like Puerto Rico, United States where I live, also in Canada, also down in Mexico, because I live in Mexico, I, I live in the United States, I also live in Puerto Rico, I do a lot of traveling. So understand this, I'm gonna, it's only gonna get worse. You know what, once the tsunami comes in, and it's just hitting right now, <laughs> okay? It's the, and here's people coming off the plane, all right? So, I mean, you, don't, you can't make this stuff up. So I want you to understand something. There is a, a, a government that ha works for an internal government that works for an evil entity, and we all know who they are. They're just a bunch of families that changed their names a few hundred years ago, maybe a few thousand years ago, and they they sell us off by the pound. So, okay, all right, so let's, okay, so now we're to 24. Now we're 25, okay? All right, okay, so this is where we're going. So understand this. This hasn't even begun yet. You know, everybody's talking about the B, okay, and the big C, okay, that's taking people down and all the other autoimmune diseases. Well, understand, autoimmune diseases mean, okay, do you know what that means? Self-poisoning. All right, you do know that metabolic dysfunction, which is what you think, what you drink, what you eat, is the main killer. It's not the psychos, okay? Because, yeah, they make choices for us. Yeah, they put a corner straw in every corner, and there's nothing good in the corner store except cancer-causing autoimmune um, uh, products, okay, just to poison us and rot our teeth out so that we will put uh, mercury fillings, which they call silver fillings, into our mouth. So understand something. Dentists are terrorists, too, unless you can find a biological one that will admit that the mercury in the silver is 47% mercury in every silver filling, and then everybody gets to have those pulled out, and then guess what? When you find out that you had a root canal and you shouldn't have, because uh, you'll find that uh, one out of every two women that have a breast cancer will have a root canal on the same side of that mouth, okay, of their mouth. So understand that. And this is real science, this is real facts. And understand something, professional my ass. Do you know how many professionals are murdering people? Dentists, medical doctors, okay. I, the list just goes on and on and on and on. You know, human beings are not high vibrational beings, okay? All right, okay, so they're still coming off the plane, all right? Uh, human beings are not high vibrational beings unless they have high vibrational, high frequency belief systems. And guess what that is? Is that we're gonna take control of our mind, we're gonna reprogram our mind, and we're going to become our practitioners for ourselves. You don't want me to be your practitioner. You don't want anybody to be your practitioner. You don't want to get treated. You want to get trained. And guess what? 
all of these people here that are in line here, this wheelchair race, okay? Just know this, okay? They're not being trained. They're not being treated. They're being mistreated. And you can take that to the bank. So think of me what you want, but this didn't exist 20 years ago. And know this, it's gonna get 10 times, I don't wanna say worse, but it's gonna get 10 times more than this, because guess what? Why don't you take a look around? If I were to do this and show, and show the video right now, I would have eight out of 10 people that are more than 10 pounds overweight. And believe it or not, okay, 40 years ago, when you were 10 pounds overweight, you're obese. They changed it to 40 pounds to make everybody feel comfortable. And how comfortable do these people feel? Well, now we know the advertising marketing is, guess what? You're big, you're beautiful, okay? You be proud, okay? No, that's not true. Anybody that's overweight is pre-diabetic, have high blood pressure, they have pelvic rot, okay? Their feet swell up all the time. They've lost the features of their face because they're retaining water to try to bring down the inflammation that was caused from the infection of pooping in their pelvis. And understand something, people here, I mean, eight out of 10 people, okay, have a tummy. It's either hanging down and out, okay, which means the large intestine is, uh, uh, is a dead muscle now, and it's just laying in their pelvis like a dead snake. Or they're sticking straight out, and that would be men or women, they're straight out, and that's because they've got the only virus I really know of, and that's uh, uh, called gasas. Yeah, you heard what I said. Because of the manure that sits in your pelvis rotting, you're getting more bad bacteria than good bacteria. Did you know that they did a study and they said that 95% of the population, okay, had 85% bad bacteria and 15% good. Do you know what we're supposed to have? 15% bad and 85% good, okay? I mean, if I turned on the video and I reversed it right now, uh, yeah. So people are eating themselves to death. They've been programmed to be garbage cans. They actually eat three meals a day, they eat three snacks a day, and they don't eat food. I don't know what this stuff is anymore, but it's not food that they eat. So what did I just have? Well, I just had two big things of cold slaw, okay? I made sure that the cold slaw wasn't made out of uh, mayonnaise, and that's what I just had. That was the only thing I could have off the menu here. Okay, we are ready to board, it says, to the Houston flight, gate six, all right? So here's the deal, okay? And I'm gonna tell you this right now. What's your reputation with yourself? How many times have you broke promises that you said you weren't gonna do that again, or you were gonna start that and you were gonna follow through and see it through? This is all about unconditional love. And we lost our unconditional love by the time we could walk and talk. And guess what? You think that you have your own personality and it's your personality? Well, it's not. Your personality is made up to everyone that screwed you over. Okay? I'm going to tell you something right now. Um, the whole time I was in school, I was always in trouble. I don't even know how I got through grade 12. I quit school when I was uh, uh, in grade 11 because I just, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand school. And now I understand why I couldn't understand school. And I have an understanding that I will do my own schooling. You know, it's like right now that we have a practitioner's program that goes all the way to um, a doctor in natural medicine. And you know, when people go, well, that's just a paper mill. Really, really? What, what do you call, what do you call universities that pump out medical doctors that never get any training in, in natural health or about food or food combining or detoxification. Okay, I teach vaginal infusion. I teach ultimate coffee enema. I teach therapeutic vomiting. I teach food combining. All my products are the highest frequency vibrational products I can find on the planet. None of them are toxic. I've got products that the FDA will not let us put in our store that people have to call and order. That's how good they are. So do you get this? All right, it's a setup, you were set up, but guess what? All you had to do was love and care for yourself. Put yourself first and foremost before anyone else or anything else to help you God. Okay, here we go. Look at, look at. They're getting ready now because of the planes unloading, so all the wheelchairs are coming. So 
This is what I'm trying to tell you. How many of these people are in wheelchairs that weren't in car accidents? Okay. How many of these people can still walk? But guess what? We cater to everyone being emotionally crippled first and then crippled physically. And understand something. The invisible creates the physical. The emotional, okay, overrides everything. Okay. And how emotional are you? Do you react? Do you attack? Or do you stay connected to your breath when there's a crisis? Do you know that GPS is, uh, that pain is just a GPS? And when you've got any symptoms at all, there are messages from your body saying, I love you. When are you going to love me? I'm 50 trillion cells. I'm 500 trillion bacteria. And most of them are bad now. So now they're giving bad messages to your brain. And that's why you're dumping the wrong chemicals now. Do you get that? Because your large intestine is the holy grail, most powerful uh, organ in your body. And you better get that, okay? It is on, on when it comes to your health. But not really. What comes first is your heart. How many people know that your heart, okay, your heart uh, has a frequency that's 60 times stronger than your brain? How many people know that your heart talks 60 times more then your brain talks to the rest of your body. Understand something, process everything through your heart. The next time that you're gonna get pissed off, you're gonna hurt yourself, you're gonna drink something poisonous, you're gonna eat something poisonous, you're gonna say something poisonous, you're gonna partake in something poisonous, put your hand on your heart, connect to your breath, take six seconds in, seven seconds out, and guess what, and say this, I will love, honor, and respect myself, and care for myself, I will hold the line, okay? People cannot hold the line, and guess what? Their families, their friends are gonna make sure they don't because their families and their friends are addicted to all this crap. So as soon as anybody tries to break away and try to do something good for themselves, go and try and do it, okay? Just like even in the jungle, you'll get beat up by the herd, and if you don't do it, the herd will cast you out. Yes or no, yes or no. So let the herd cast me out. Let the majority cast me out, and let, let everybody tell me that uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm okay to be the minority. And the reality is, is this, never be a statistic again. When your doctor says, hey, you know, somebody your age is like this and this and this, you will end up in a wheelchair. You will end up dead. You will end up on drugs. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? All right, here we go. I gotta go. We're loading right now, okay? All right? And there's my beautiful partner, Lori. And uh, I'm forever keeping her waiting and I can't do that, okay? I gotta fly. What does that mean? First, love yourself. God bless.